Say hello to my little friend, shiny and possibly blinding you, sorry. Hello beautiful bookworms, my name is Katrina and welcome to my channel. So today I got a little bit inspired by a video from Jesse, from Jesse the Reader. Uh, I'm going to leave the link to his channel down below, he's awesome, go watch it. But I watched him doing a quiz uh, that was how much of a book addict are you? And obviously as an expired slash already addict book addict, uh, I decided that I should do also this quiz to try and see my level of addiction to books and book related stuff. Although I know that it's probably going to be pretty high because yeah, <laughs> do you know me? Hello, I love books and I am always thinking about books and my life is reduced to that. So um, yeah, so I decided it will be fun to do. I am going to try and do it on my computer. So uh, I'll probably have to fix the space so I can reach my computer and look at you guys at the same time. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you want to take the quiz, I'm going to try and leave the link down below if I remember to do so. Um, so yeah, guys, let's just see if I'm a book addict or not. Are you interested? Because I am really interested to see what this is going on. Okay, so I'm going to try and read you the questions. Uh, I'm going to just the camera here. Yeah, perfect. Uh, my computer is here, as you can see the line of it. Uh, and I'm going to try and read you the questions while I do them. So this is going to be fun. So what you have to do for the quiz is, the question is, do you, and then you have to check all of the boxes that apply to you. So, do you read more than one book a month? Yes. Do you read more than one book a week? Well, it depends. Uh, I normally do, but sometimes I don't. I'm going to leave this one unchecked because it's not really fair. Uh, read more than one book a day. I did that, but now I don't have the time. So, read more than one book at the same time. Yes, because I read books and then I read graphic novels or manga at the same time because sometimes when I'm commuting it's faster and better to take a little small book than a giant big one. So yes, read more than two books at the same time. It depends. If I have graphic novels or manga to read, I can read graphic novels and manga and a book. So I'm going to check this one. Read more than three books at the same time. Okay, you're pushing it. You're really pushing it. Lose track of the number of books you are reading at the same time. No. What? Prefer dates with books over dates with strangers. Um, obviously, I kind of don't want to be raped or anything like that. So, yeah. Prefer dates with books over dates with friends. It's really bad to say this, but I'm going to check this one. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit antisocial. To all my friends that watch my channel, I love you. But sometimes I don't like to go out with people and in those times books are there for me, so checking that one. Prefer dates with books over dates with your main squeeze. Main squeeze. Okay, I'm going to go on a loop here and say that probably my main squeeze is my boyfriend and I don't prefer dates with books over dates with my boyfriend. I would pref I prefer when he reads with me. That's the best date possible, but yeah. Prefer dates with books, period. Yeah, that, that's it. Fall asleep with a book more than once a week. Yes. Fall asleep with a book more than twice a week. Yes. Fall asleep with a book more than three times a week. Oh, these are... Oh. Okay, basically, uh, this book... This, this is like, they ask, fall asleep with a book more than X times a week, and it's until seven times a week and because I pretty much read every night before sleep and sometimes I fall asleep when I'm reading and then I wake up again and I just put the book down and go to sleep uh, I'm going to check all of them because this happens to me pretty much every night so I'm just going to proceed and yeah okay I actually never fall asleep with a book because who has time to sleep when this book needs finishing well, that happens sometimes, but not really right now because I have my internship, my thesis, my part-time job and life, so I need my sleep. So this hasn't been happening, so I'm not going to check this one. 
Have one book on your bedside table. Yes. Have two books on your bedside table. Yes. Have three books on your bedside table. Yes, that happened. Have a giant stack of books on your bedside table. Yes, that also happens. Not have a bedside table, just a giant stack of bedside books that act as your bedside table. Okay, no, I do have a bedside table. I do enjoy furniture and my books are not my furniture, thank heavens. Have one bookshelf in your home. Yes. Have two bookshelves in your home. Yes. Have three bookshelves in your home. Yes. Have bookshelves instead of walls in your home. No, sadly, because I would really love to. Not even know what bookshelves are because your home is entirely made of books. That would be awesome, but no. Have a library card? Yes. Have multiple library cards? No, because thank the lords, I am only one person. So I only need one library card. Have multiple library cards because you are wanted at one or more libraries for exorbitant late fees. No, I always fulfill my things on time and I haven't been to the library a lot actually now that I think about it. Maybe it will be a good goal for 2018 to actually stop buying books and go to the library if I'm able to. So let me see. Read while at the diner table. Yep. Read while a friend is talking to you. No, that, no, I, no, I don't think so. Read while walking down the street. Yes. Read while riding your bike. No. Read while driving. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm paranoid when I'm driving. Never. No. Ever laugh out loud while reading a book? Yes. Ever cry while reading a book? Yes. Ever swear under your breath? Yes. Ever swear audibly? Yes. Ever yell while reading a book? Yes. Ever throw the book you're reading across the room because why? Yes. Ever do number 38 to 43 all while reading the same book? Oh, so if I had all of these emotions while reading the same book? Yes, I think so. I remember vividly that there's a book out there that is really hurt while I was doing this. So I, I think yes. Ever miss your subway stop because you're reading a book? Yes. Ever miss your train entirely because you're reading a book? No. Ever call in sick to work so that you can finish a book? No. Ever wear headphones with no music while reading so no one interrupts you? <sighs> yes, I did this. I'm so sorry for it. All of the people that are my friends and that have to deal with this. Ever ask yourself, what would my favorite character do when faced with a real life issue? Yes. Give books instead of advice when a friend comes to you for help? No, I actually do concentrate on my friend's problems and try to help them about the situation and not just give them books. Have extreme rules for whenever you loan a book to a friend? Yes, and I don't loan my books easily because I've been scarred a lot. So if I lend you a book, you better fucking believe that I actually like you. And yeah, that's that. And you have to follow an extreme set of rules. And I'm thinking about doing a fucking contract when I lend books to people. So that they fucking have to pay me if they destroy my book. And that is that. Sorry for the swearing, but I get really pissed when people destroy my books. So I'm gonna go back to the quiz. Refuse to loan out your books, period. I'm going to check this one too, because I refuse a lot of people to loan books. I only loan to people that I actually do have trust that they are not going to destroy my book or not be late in returning it or that just, yeah, you know the drill. So I'm going to check this one too, because I have made excuses and I'm sorry to those people, but I, I just, I can't trust my book to everyone to don't loan books to people. So yeah. Have trouble walking past a bookstore? Yes. Know all of your local booksellers by name? Not all of them, but some, so I'm not going to check this one. Take your paycheck straight to your local bookstore? No. Buy books even when you can't make rent? No, that's... <laughs> don't do that, everybody! Having a place to live is a little bit more important than reading, and I don't believe that I'm saying this, but I am. You should have a roof over your head and some food to eat and some water to drink before you even consider reading. I'm sorry, but priorities, everybody. I love books, but priorities, okay? Avoid moving at all costs because your library is so large. I don't avoid moving, but I'm going to check this one because I, I, yeah, when I move, if I move someday, I, I am going to delay that as much as possible because my fucking books, I, I can't move my books. <laughs> my god. 
Sacrifice all your belongings aside from your books if you ever do end up having to move. Yeah. Feel most at home in a bookstore or library. Yes. Ever fantasize about kidnapping your favorite authors to get them to finish your favorite series? Yes, Patrick Rothfuss, if you're watching this, I am going to kidnap you for you to finish the King Killer Chronicles. Please, it's only one book, dude. Just do it. Just do it, okay? Please. And maybe George R. R. Martin as well. And maybe Brandon Sanderson, but the dude is cool, so he's probably going to finish it ASAP because he writes really fast. So, with him, is cool. Ever fantasize about kidnapping your favorite authors for other purposes? Yes, to make them write a story just for me and to have cool conversations while they are tied up and drinking some tea with me. And yes, I read Misery by Stephen King and I fully agree with everything that was done in that book. Everything, okay? So, going forth. Get a little tyrannical when it comes to book clubs. Yes. Follow more authors and friends on Twitter. Yes. I actually created Twitter because of, of some book-related things, and I follow more authors and friends in there. Not actually use social media because it cuts into your reading time. That's not true. I'm filming this. Pride yourself on your ability to turn anything into a bookmark. Hell yes. Carry at least one book on your person at all times. Yes. Ever try to cook meals featured in your favorite books? No, because... Uh, no. <laughs> That would kill my imagination of that food. Ever wish you could be friends with your favorite character? Yes. Ever wish you could date your favorite character? Yes. Ever dress up as characters of your favorite book? Yes. Always read the book before you see the movie? I think I watched the first Hunger Games before I read the book, so I'm not going to check this one. But I pretty much all the time do this, but I think there are some exceptions, because, so I'm not going to say always. Never see the movie because you're worried to ruin your perfect imaging of the book. Yes. Judge people by their taste in books. I don't judge people. They can read what they want. I sometimes judge books, but I don't judge people. Sometimes wish that you lived in the fantasy universe of your favorite book instead. Yes. Often wish that you lived in the fantasy world of your favorite book. Yes. Know in your heart that the real world is a fantasy and that the world of your books is true reality. Yes! <laughs> okay, I, I have the notion that I live in the real world, but... I want this so badly that I'm going to check this. Get jealous of your local bookstore cat. There are some cats around my library and my bookstore, so I'm going to say yes, but... Uh, yes, okay. Show my results! It is now, everybody! You show 53 out of 77 symptoms of book addiction. Congratulations, you have an extreme reading problem. <sighs> Can you tell? No? Okay, sorry. You cannot resist the siren song of an unread book. True. Luckily, there is nothing wrong with that. There isn't. Just don't forget to stop reading every once in a while and call your mother. I live with my mother, so it's pretty fine. And I actually go read to her side. So we are cool with that. So this is going to be all for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'm sorry it is so long, but I really wanted to read your questions so that you could see that I was answering truthfully. And if you have still any doubts, I'm gonna show you. There it is, 53. I'm so proud of myself. So yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like it, leave a like or subscribe. And if you want to do the quiz, try and do it. I would love to know if you are as book addict as me, more or less, although some of the questions here are a little bit like you don't have to read a lot of books per week to be a book addict, if you know what I mean. That depends on individual time and what rest of things you have to do, work and etc. But yeah, I was pretty pleased with my um, results. So thank you guys so much for watching and happy readings to you all. Bye!